Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm beginning a review of a new wiper blade that I'm going to try. It's a PIAA, I don't know if that's an, an acronym or something like that. At any rate, you know, wiper blades are a very important part of our driving safety, especially if we're caught in the rain, heavy rain, or get into a situation where our windows are dirty, we need to clean them. I, I had a, a scare one time where I just wasn't sure how the wiper blades was going to be on this car until I needed them, and I hit the button, and it was a brownout. You know, so uh, normally over the past 20 or so years, maybe longer, I've always used Bosch Micro Edge 2. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I had one that literally didn't last, I don't know, 60 days before it was not wiping correctly, uh, leaving rubber on my windshield, stuff like that. So I decided to give one of these blades a try. I have it on my back position in the heat, extreme heat that we have here in New Mexico. Wiper blades are good if they if they last uh, eight months. So the one I had on there was, was probably on there around two years. It was, it hasn't been good for the past year, uh, uh, but it's been on the back of the window, so it's not been a real big deal. At any rate, I like for the wipers to wipe the window nice and smooth the first time and keep going clean. You know, uh, lately I've noticed that most wiper blades I get a month after getting them, you got to wipe three or four times before the window's actually clean. So hopefully this will be a better situation and you can check back with me every six months to see how these are holding up. I'm going to do a test of these super silicone, silicone advantage, two times longer lasting wiper blades. When I was out in Portland, I stopped by IPD and I wanted to buy something from there and there wasn't much I could afford at the time, so I got this wiper blade. I thought these things would last a lot longer than that, but right there it just says two times. So it and see how it goes so this is the brand it's got some window prep stuff it's got the wiper blade in there and I'm putting it on the back of my vehicle because my rear wiper isn't doing well at all as you can see the tip of it is actually tearing so let's get started one thing I want you all to be cautious and aware of is whenever you take your wiper blade off Either go ahead and lay it down against the glass or wrap it up in a cloth. I've actually heard of people taking the wiper blade off, turning their back and bumping this thing and it's snapping back and actually breaking the glass. So you don't want to chip or break your glass or your windshield with a wiper blade arm. You can read the package, traditional frame design, water repellent barrier, Long lasting durability, satisfaction guarantee, blah, 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 blah. It's got these different ways to mount them so they should fit on a lot of different vehicles. Now it has some kind of windshield preparation pack for these wipers. I'm going to read the instructions, do what it says, and install the blade. One, wash the glass with soap and water, which I did, removing all road debris. You can go over it with a razor blade just to make sure you got everything off so that it's squeaky clean. Next, it says when you're ready to use it, not before, when you're ready to use it, open the package and wipe the windshield with the towel. It dries real fast, so don't do it until you're actually ready to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and open it, and then I'm going to wipe that entire glass area with this towel. I cleaned the glass thoroughly with this cloth that came in there. As you can see, doesn't have much dirt on it. There is some warnings about it 
having eye irritations and paint contact and flushing and washing your skin and stuff like that. So you might want to put a pair of gloves on if you have some before you use that thing. And don't let it get on your painted surface because you don't want it messing up your paint. The next step says 10 minutes after you treat the windshield or glass, wipe it with a dry or slightly damp clean towel. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes and then I'm going to wipe it, install a blade, I should be good to go. Next thing you want to do is see which adapter that came with the wiper blade will fit your wiper arm so you could take them one by one see if they try to fit on there before you actually select the one and install it in your blade assembly and on mine it looks like this is the one so I'm install that in the blade and then install the blade on the vehicle okay this arm has the hole there and the thing that I chose has the little latch inside there so this will actually clip in place when I set it on there. You hear it click and then it won't come out. Good to go. I didn't see this in my instructions, but I saw it on a couple of installation videos. After you've buffed the glass, the 10 minutes after the treatment stuff has been applied, you're supposed to run the wiper for, man, they say up to five minutes. This will coat the glass with silicone from the blade so you just let the wiper blade run on the glass for a few minutes and then shut it off and you're all done because of the kind of climate i'm in wiper blades normally don't last long man if they last a year i do good you also know i drive a lot so i actually uh, use my wipers a lot when you have a wagon like I have, anytime the ground is wet, that back glass gets missed on it. So I do actually use that rear wiper a lot. Check back on this video every six months and I'll have a little update on how the wiper is holding up. If for some reason you don't see an update, uh, send me a message and I'll do an update. Thanks for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.